All right, and we're back, and nothing interesting happened within the two seconds you left. Go ahead and build some guys up, because I can't risk being absolutely slaughtered in the very beginning. Always, always helpful to improve the speed at which you can do things. I need to upgrade you guys. D -d 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 -d. <sighs> I'm thinking about doing a uh, sequence, by the way, um, that I would name bashing video games. I was talking with a friend earlier about it. Uh, I might do it on Wednesdays. Wednesdays is usually a good day for me to do stuff. So I might make a bashing Wednesdays section where you guys give me a video game and I tell you everything I absolutely hate about that game. And, uh, or I could do a praising, praising days, praising slash bashing. Um, but the whole point is that, um, I either tell you the really good things or the really bad things about, um, about a video game that I like. Alright, let's just go ahead and burn this forest, I don't care. Yeah, enjoy that. Let's get some axemen out here. Another interesting thing about Norse is when they fight, they gain favor, and you can use your favor to do military units. But alas, I don't have much favor, so there's not much I can do. Again, gotta spend resources to make resources, so just gotta deal with it. Um, he's almost doubling my score, which is fantastic. I need an armory so that I can upgrade to the next level. make my mining go a little bit faster. I've still got plenty of gold in that mine. I need to upgrade to the next level soon. I also need to uh, build some more houses. I need more people on wood. Uh, whoever developed this game, I can't remember who the name of the people, um, Microsoft, Gameloft, or something, I can't remember. Um, but, uh, they did a really good job with this game. Um, I thought that the planning of how it was designed, the game engine, the graphics, uh, they just did a fantastic job with this game. Uh, as well as all the Age of games, like there's Age of Empires, uh, Age of Mythology, they just did a f fantastic job with all of that. Um, kudos to them. It takes a lot of concentration. Planning on how you're going to divvy up your resources, how you're going to produce most of your units, what you want to spend it in. Because um, a lot of this goes to um, trying to counter the units that your enemy is producing. So if you're able to do that, you can absolutely demolish them when it comes to uh, a battle. So you just got to keep that in mind. Uh, that can be the turning point of a game, or for any game for that for that uh, that matter. What does this do? Oh, all right. Well, I can't do that right now, unfortunately. Although I can see how big of an army they have. Which I should probably do. 
slowly but surely I'm producing a small army I'm gonna limit to making some uh, axemen because my raiding cavalry right now is taking away my meat which I need for when I uh, upgrade and I need about eight yeah it's 800 meat to upgrade yep so I need that so anyway just a little side chatter I guess uh, the elections coming up if you want to post in the comments below about who you are voting for and why that'd be an interesting topic for debate I did get a couple messages from people, not necessarily people, I'm pretty sure they were computers or bots or something, just sending me messages about asking me to join their channel and do such and such and whatnot. Uh, I really don't feel like doing that for computers that have no brain power. So, unless you're human, I'm not really going to talk to you. Alright, looks like I've got just enough. Uh, I've always been a fan of the Frost Giant, just because it has the ability to freeze your enemy. So I'm going to go ahead and worship them. Um, gonna continue on that Axeman production. Oh, I have vacant villagers. Let's have them go mine over here at the large mine. That's what I'm talking about. 6,000 gold. That's something I need. Um... Once I get my frost giant, I'm gonna, I'm gonna safely say I'm gonna send in whatever army I have because I'm nearing my pop cap for right now I could build more but uh actually I'll do that why not build a little bit more houses you're limited to 10 houses and there's my last house so I'm pretty close to my pop cap and he's rocketing along as far as advancement goes um, so I'm convinced he's not spending much on a military so I'm gonna take advantage of that instance and uh, go ahead and Send in the cavalry, for lack of a better word. Gonna upgrade those. Oh, well, I don't have to. That's fine. You guys get back over here. Alright, why not? Let's do it. What's the point of a game if you're just gonna sit back and do nothing? Come on, 300 meat. And boom. Alright, let's send these guys in. Let's go have some fun. That's the whole point of this the business. He invoked the plenty power. Which is a little bit overpowered in my mind. It constantly generates your resources. Although you are allowed to take it if you get close enough to it. Um, so I may have to go snag that from him. Depending on how big of, a, of an army this guy has got. I'm gonna pray and hope... That he doesn't have much. But let's see what happens. And he did that. Cool. That basically means I can't attack, he can't attack. Um, we're at a standstill. So I'm going to go ahead and find where his army is. If he has an army. Doesn't look like much. Oh, look, a little army. I think I'll crush him. We'll see. Oh, yay, a raven. Woohoo. I can go explore some more. Okay, run away. Whatever. Let's get these guys out here. So they can do something. And here we go. Uh, I am approaching my next 10 minute mark, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this, and then we'll get back in just a second.